What's cracking guys, ladies and gents, welcome back to another episode of Treeing Shoe Repairs. As always, I'm Dan. It has been about two months since I posted a YouTube video, which is disgraceful, but I'm gonna tell you why. But for now, I'm very quickly knocking out a short, snappy video for you guys, because I wanted to do something fun. We have got my Timberland boots, which I haven't worn for a while, so I wanted to spice them up. So what I'm gonna do is convert them to these neon Vibram soles. I put a poll out on Instagram asking you guys if you wanted to see neon lime, or bright orange. Keep watching and you're gonna find out. Once again, welcome back guys. Glad you're here on the video. I'm glad to be back making content. Now, I'll tell you just where I've been. If you just wanna see the shoe repair, skip ahead 60 seconds, but for you guys that are interested to know, you will have heard me say this probably about six times in my uh, YouTube career, and that is that I've just been so busy, too busy. I am well and truly a one-man band, as a lot of you will know. Making YouTube videos is just one small part of my daily life. I've got the shop to run and genuinely have about 100 pairs of shoes here at the minute. We've got the online shop sending out the polish. I've got the online orders coming in from you guys sending work, which is fantastic. Get about 20 emails a day that I have to try and get to at some point. And that's without even talking about having some sort of personal life, some sort of dating life, seeing my friends, squeezing in and going to the gym, pursuing my fitness goals. I've got a house to look after. I'm always doing a project at the minute. I'm building a patio. Got to look after my little cats, my fish, do the shopping, try and stay relevant on social media, Instagram, etc. Speaking of which, I have been pretty active on Instagram recently, making short form reels, putting them there. So if you're interested in seeing that, give me a follow on Instagram, put a link up here. So that is the why for why I haven't uploaded anything for a while. But don't worry, I have got one, two, three, four, five videos, pla six videos planned. So Buckle in, I'm gonna get them done. We're gonna knock them out as quick as I can. But for now, let's look at these Tims. Okay, so how do we attack this thing to get our sole off? The sole's made up of a thick, chunky foam midsole, which will be super easy to grind off, but we can't get to it because we've got an outsole layer of super, or should say ultra hard wearing rubber, which we won't be able to grind off. So we're gonna apply a bit of heat, loosen this up, see if we can't peel that off, and then we can get to the midsole. Oh yeah, are you alright? Good morning. Time for Mr. Hill. So we're down to its bare bones, which is effectively a full width rand, which just goes straight onto the footbed. Now we're gonna put a midsole on there just for some extra cushioning and aesthetics, but we need to glue it on with a two-step process. First, we need to prime this foam with some of the Renier Yellow Label Rehargol. You know what, guys, this is actually the Halloween episode, albeit late, which is why Ron is looking absolutely terrifying. <laughs> and George is all dressed up as usual, rocking the vampire outfit. <laughs> So here we just cut out a strip of micro from that big sheet, which is what we're going to use as the midsole. But first, I need to fill up my glue. Now just before we get the glue on, remember I said that there's a two-step process to this particular job, and that is that we're going to take our little cup, 
fill it up with something called hardener and this is just going to make the glue set rock hard and it's good for sticking tricky jobs like foam. So we've got a hardener which we can mix up with glue as we brush to get on the shoe. So here's something I haven't said for a while, let's get sticky. and the hardener is going to make our hard-on go extra extra hard so we're going to let that dry and then heat it all up to activate the glue and stick it together Squeaky, squeaky. I'll tell you, you guys never see. When I'm making my videos, I spend literally half the time moving stuff, moving tripods. So there's our midsole on, all shaped around and skimmed down to the thickness that I want it. So now it's time to get on our Vibram Ultra sole. So uh, Vibram actually got in touch with me and they said if I featured their sole in their video that they would get me a Lamborghini in the same color, which is really generous of them. So I'm gonna hold you to it guys at Vibram. When I get home, I really hope to see that Lamborghini on my drive. I mean, I have already got two Lamborghinis, but you know, it's like my granddad said, you can never have too many Lamborghinis. Now it's time to glue our ultra sole, so let's get sticky. Now check it out, this is cool. The sole and the gun are the same color. See? All right, wicked, so we've got our soles on. You just saw I gave them a spray with some suede and Nubuck shampoo. So all we've got to do now, get the laces back in and it will be job done.
we're done with my Timberlands. What do we think? Let me know in the comments. What do you think of this job and this look? I'll be honest with you, I prefer the green ones. I think these look awesome. So I've got to go and take them for a spin now, haven't I? I'm going to see Queens of the Stone Age next week. I think I'll wear them to that. That is the end of the video. It's really annoying light coming through there, but thank you so much for joining me, guys. Hit like if you did like the video, and as I said, give me a follow on Instagram. I'm a lot more active on there. I like keeping in touch with you guys, and I'm putting up a lot more short format reels and such. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm putting up new videos, now that I am actually making stuff again. But I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.